Greg here with Learn to Fish with us. Well, we've been doing a lot of ice fishing educational videos on teaching you skills about equipment. We also want to be able to teach you about what you can do with the fish once you have them all cleaned. So basically today had a pretty good day ice fishing for bluegills. So we got our bluegill fillets. So on here, um, basically I have taken the skin off and I've also taken the... Um, there's sort of a Y bone in the bigger bluegills. I've taken that out so that these should be completely boneless. Um, the skins, you know, some people prefer keeping the skin on, taking the scales off. Um, I prefer not having the skins on. So next thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to have some flour. And then what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to add about a tablespoon of salt into here and then what I'm going to do is just mix it up really well so that we get the salt in there and mix up this uh, batter uh, really this flour and salt okay so that's really all mixed in pretty good I think so next thing we will do is I have a large frying pan and I also have the cover, you know, so that we can try to keep it pretty clean. Um, I have four pads of butter. So now, as I'm getting ready, I'm going to turn the heat on. And when I do the heat, I actually, I actually like to be at really high. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to turn on the fan. Because this will probably get pretty smoky if you don't have a fan. So, uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to let... The, the pads start melting. As they're melting, I'm just going to come over here and I'm going to get the bluegills on and just start filling the pan. And that's the reason I like to use a big pan. So all we're going to do is just dunk it in and then clean off the clean, clean off the residue. And all I'm going to do is uh, fill this pan up with fillets. What we're doing today is we are pan frying bluegills. Um, I do have a deep fryer, but every so often it's really nice to have this uh, have this pan fried. A little more work, but definitely worth the reward because what we're going to do is we're going to break this video down into a couple different pieces and then I'll bring them together and what we'll do is talk about all the different steps to actually completing pan fried bluegills. So as you can see, I'm filling up there. The, the butter is slowly melting. So that's really it for uh, this phase. Okay, so now the fish have been cooking for about five minutes. The butter's really burnt off. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip this. You can see how nicely golden brown they are. Ooh, la, la. So all we're gonna do is flip all these fish. And trust me, the biggest thing is if you really want people to enjoy this dish, you gotta make sure you take the time and get these fish nicely browned. So now that Oh, look at that. Those are really brown. Okay, so now that I have everything flipped, what I'm going to quick do is uh, add four more pads of butter around the dish. And what you're doing is just enough moisture to get them cooking. And then what we'll do is... Uh, what we'll do is actually uh, get it, and so we'll show you what the end result's going to look like. And if okay, we're on our final step, and you know what that means? It means check the other side. So what we want to do is make sure the other side, look at how golden brown this is. Look at those. Oh, yeah. So, looks like th this has been about three to four minutes. It'll cook a little bit faster, but look at this. Nice crunchy taste. So we're gonna have other learn to fish videos that are gonna talk about different ways to use your fish in dishes. So check us out at learn to fish 
with us back uh, 